สวัสดีค่ะ Good morning and welcome to Morning Thailand. I'm Wanasa n k r a h o n And I'm Tananda Pat Noi. We're good morning, and you're watching this edition of the program on Friday, the 27th of yes. September 2013 to GIF. Mm -hmm. The GIF indeed. And good news is, I haven't seen rain yet. Oh, yeah. So good news. Still have to breast for more during the I weekend know. as the meteorological office yeah. is one. Exactly. So you know. Enjoy what you have right now. Mm -hmm. At least there's not going to be much traffic this morning. Okay, sure. but in the evening, right? Mm -hmm. Friday evening. Okay, so rest for traffic this evening, and also the situation over the weather conditions over the weekend as well. Mm -hmm. Now, starting with the first news today, we know Queen Golf this year, the year 2013, is one of the. Uh, there's a story to celebrate. The auspicious. Mm -hmm. Special ceremony because this year is the 100th birthday anniversary of His Holiness o m n i r a n a s a n g w o n He is the Supreme Patriarch of Thailand, and his birthday falls on the 3rd of October. So this year, during the 1st to the 7th of October, there will be a lot of activities and celebrations held to commemorate this very. Auspicious mm -hmm. occasion, mm -hmm. and Most first definitely. of all, uh, starting from the beginning of this year, mm -hmm. a lot of activities has already been held to commemorate this occasion, and also a lot more have been planned as well. His Holiness Omdet p r a y a n a s a n g w o n has been in monkhood for 86 years already, and he has contributed greatly to the expansion of Buddhism mm -hmm. both in and out of the country. So yesterday. The assistant secretary to His Holiness has revealed that part of this the activity will be the distribution of very special amulets to people who come to sign the birthday wishes at the office of secretary to the Supreme Patriarch mm. during October the first mm -hmm. to the seventh. Who anyone who want to receive this very amulets, you right. can go to what. Uh, but one w a y we h a n temple, right? Yes. And the thing is, um, if you haven't, you know, realized by now, amulets here in Thailand is actually um, a collector items. Mm -hmm. So for big occasions like this, there will be a lot of people standing in lines trying to get it because obviously once um, it doesn't is not always. Will be readily available mm -hmm. for everyone. That means that if you get a hand. You know, if you get a hold of these particular amulets, then mm -hmm. the chances are you probably be able to hike the price later oh. on because <laughs> it is a collector item. And however, only 84,000 amulets will be produced in this special occasion, and some mm -hmm. of them will be handed out to security officers, soldiers, special task force, and police who work in the border provinces. Right. And during this special time, His Majesty King p u m i p o n a d u n y a d e has granted the clerical titles to two senior. Your monks, Pra Anilaman t a m a s a k i y o he's the assistant secretary to His Holiness, and also Pra Kru Anukun k a n s a n a k i t he is the abbot of a temple in k a n s a n a b u r i provinces, mm. uh, province, in honor of His Holiness celebration. And apart from that, the w a t b a w a n i w e d w i h a n has already joined hands with a lot more government units, including the Religious Affairs Department, the Ministry of Culture, the National Office of Buddhism and Educational Institutions, organizing a lot of activities to celebrate the anniversary. And the festivities will be held at the w a t b a w a n i w e d Temple during the first to the seventh. As I said, a lot of programs have been planned, including the exhibition on the life and work of His Holiness. Mm -hmm. And also the international Buddhist meeting. This is very interesting. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed, and of course a big event. I mean, obviously, Thailand is majority of our populations are actually Buddhist. Yes. So you know, this is one of the thing that we do celebrate a lot right here in Thailand. Now, moving on to another interesting news. If you see a front front page of Daily News this morning, there's a picture of a very tall. Plant and yeah. at first I thought it was just you know one of those uh, tall grass and such. It turned out to be rice plant. Wow. And normally we know that rice plant is always very short, right? Because a lot like of a farmers exactly farmers gonna have to bend uh -huh. over and you know try yes. to uh, harvest it. However, in this particular case in Chiang Rai, um, they have found this particular plant to be. 
quite tall. We're talking about 3.1 meter wow. tall. Wow. Exactly, at the Ma Fa Luang district. Now, um, as you can see there, the, the rice is actually quite fruitful, fruitful mm. as well. Now, Kun Ging Tong Ngan Pai Rosakun, the owner of this particular uh, plant, said that he has found um, all of a sudden in his rice field these plants and not just one. He said that there were about um, 81 of these, um, as you can see, they're rice grains. I'm not quite sure if you can see the um, sack of rice grains. Oh, um, 81 from, of them. She's and this is the Kyo tribe, right? Yeah, she's tribal. Um, oh. And this is up in the Ma Fa Luang district. Oh. Now they say that this is um, probably would be ready for harvest within a month. And they say that at this point, the, the authorities or the people in the area um, do not know yet which breed it is. He, mm -hmm. the owner, did not realize either how this particular plant came about. However, at this point, um, they already um, took the sample of the grain and then they're going to take a look at it, do a little research on it to identify whatever breed it is. They're not even sure if it's a sticky rice or it's just um, plain white rice. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to find out soon. And if it's real, uh, if uh, end up being one of the new breed, then they might name it uh, Ma Fa Luong, or they might name it Sut Blai Fa, or it means um, to the end of the sky. Wow. Just to showcase the height of mm -hmm. the plant itself. All right. It seems like mutating. <laughs> well, if it's actually, you know. It's undergone it's DNA mutation. Not sure, yeah. because the owner was just like, yeah, all of a sudden he walked in and there was like this gigantic plant. Wow. Yeah. I wonder how it tastes it? like. We still have to wait and see. A month. A month. Oh, in yes, a month. Exactly. Okay, now moving on to the about the criminal cases mm -hmm. here. Also in Chiang Rai province, yesterday, the Police General Priyopan Damapong and related agencies has held a press conference uh, announcing an arrest of a couple in Chiang Rai province who were found to have been running a drug operation there. Kun Vithun Ding Chok Jereng, age 40, and his wife Ratikan Kit Vilai, age 43, were arrested along with 100,000 methamphetamine pills three kilograms of crystal meth and the arrests were made on Pahon Yotin Road in Pan district of Chiang Rai province. Kun Ratikan, the woman, was driving the white Toyota Hyatt van with no license plate with uh, her husband to deliver the drugs to clients in Bangkok and nearby provinces. The two culprits confessed of their crime and they mm -hmm. said that they had been running the drug operation for several years now and police have raided their home in Masai, district of Chiang Rai province, where they opened a restaurant and also a they were running a catering business there, Kun Gov. Okay. However, uh, I guess they along didn't with get the pay enough. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> along with this uh, restaurant, police mm -hmm. also found six hundred forty thousand methamphetamine pills, six kilograms of crystal meth. Right. So combined with the first lot that they arrest on their way to Bangkok, the drugs were worth in total right. 300 million baht. 300 so million? They did not need to run a any cafe more business? or any more business at all. Wow. Ooh. Police said that they got a tip off from an informant in Masai district that a drug seller has opened a business in order to conceal that they were running a drug operation and they got the narcotics from someone in Ma Fa Luang district of Chiang Rai province before delivering to clients in the central region. Oh. So this is one of like a big scale drug arrest because 300 million and only two culprits arrested. Yes. That's mm -hmm. a lot of money. Well, the thing is, they're trying to cover up their business. That's yes. the problem, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so um, one last news. Very interesting um, for you here. I would have to say, not last news, excuse mm -hmm. me, um, a lot more after this. But very quickly here, there has been a report of two of the inmates who are very clever, um, actually did a jailbreak. You, it sounds a lot like in a the movie. They used a strip of cloth 
tied together four meter long, mm -hmm. tied it with a water bottle that they received mm -hmm. from one of the people that visited them. They threw the water bottle down, someone down at the bottom of the building of the jail actually put in uh, one of those small little sole the uh -huh. oh. uh, saw to, to, yeah. to put inside the water bottle. They pull it up, slowly just kind of cut through the cell, the cell wow. bars and able to escape. These two, Kun Udom Sak Mod Wichit, as well as Yong Yut Chom Ma Lai, this took place at the Lak Song police station. Um, they actually used the time during the rainy um, night to mm -hmm. actually do this because obviously no one could actually you know, hear them doing all this stuff. And at this point, they're still on the run. But just to show you a crazy Did you say how that long that they're starting, since they're starting cutting well, the cell thing is, bars? Um, the police actually checked everyone, oh. and everyone was actually in their cell um, overnight. So mm -hmm. there's a period of, you know, the time when the police just wasn't there to take a look at them all oh. the time. So it's, it, it happened overnight. Because wow. in the morning, 8 o'clock, they're gone. Yeah, I have, I have to say that it's <laughs> Im impressive, right? Yeah, but you know, <laughs> I thought it was interesting Not in a good too. way, in I a, know. Exactly, but it's very much like in a movie. Now, very quickly moving on to another case. Um, this one is um, unfortunate as well. I talked about the Gratom leaf before yes. Phai and about how a lot of people were actually trying to see whether or not they could legalize it. Well, apparently um, back in 2011, it wasn't legalized yet and it was part of the legal um, system in terms of narcotics. It was on the narcotic list. And on February the 10th, um, this particular case happened when um, an old lady, a senior, actually grew gratom leaves, gratom plant mm -hmm. at her house. And they ended up um, not just growing it, she was growing it to sell apparently. Uh -huh. And she was 74 years old, um, couldn't Tong Di Jum Si, and they say that um, she was actually planted it. But the prop, the thing that got her in trouble because she installed 200 volt of electrified fence around her home to ward mm -hmm. off, you know, other people. However, on the 10th, um, a college student, actually 20 years old, broke into her property and got electrocuted. Mm -hmm. So that's why she got um, this jail term. And apparently, at this point. The appeal court um, has sentenced her to um, three years in jail um, for actually this particular case. And her daughter say that she was quite ill as well mm -hmm. um, in terms of you know her health. And they were probably waiting to get the uh, leaner, uh, more lenient sentences. Um, mm -hmm. she, they say that um, at this point, um, she would not bring uh, the daughter would not bringing the case to the Supreme Court, but she would instead be seeking a royal pardon for her mother. Mm -hmm. So let's 74 see. Seventy-four euros, so she's a grandma. Exactly, but you know, unfortunately, and just a small business in her home, right? Yeah, but that's to show you that you can actually protect your property, but at certain extent, not yes. electrocuted people. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, just to wrapping up this session here quickly, there's an arrest of a criminal gang, the car robbery gang, and this time were made in Nakhon Pathom province yesterday. Police in Bang Yai district of Nontaburi have arrested four men aged between 28 to 39 on charges of car robbery. They said that on the 20th of September, they got an report from Kun Wajana Kamun, age 42, and she's a wife of mm -hmm. a police officer oh. in Bang Yai district as well. He the He's in the team to escort Prapayom Galayano, the abbot of Suan Gao mm. Temple in uh, Nontaburi province. Right. And on the 20th, Kun Wajana said that she parked her car, the Toyota Fortuner, in front of the Bang Yai Bazaar on Kantanaburi Road linking uh, Talin Chan to Supanburi province in order to uh, commit, uh, conduct some financial transactions at the ATM booth. However, at that time, she didn't turn off the engine oh. and left the car open, left the door open. Right. And at that time, one of these criminal gangs had got on a car and drove away. So she lost her car along with the 25,000 baht in cash and also a cell phone. 
And after that, police have already tracked down from the security camera and found mm -hmm. that this uh, particular her Toyota Fortuner car has been driven into Nakhon Pathom province. So they, ha they contacted police in Nakhon right. Pathom administration in order to track down this particular car. Mm -hmm. And police have found the contact to this criminal gang and they contacted the gang saying that they want to, they're interested to buy a Toyota Fortuner at 20, oh, 200,000 baht, so excuse me. they lured them out. Yes. Okay. And wow. yeah, they got Already the bait. got arrested. Mm -hmm. Okay, so be very careful if you're going to have to leave your car, not to leave the door open and the key inside. Yeah. That's almost like come and get it kind of thing <laughs> all right let's take a short break because um after the break i have a lot more floods to report as well as the fact that the power rubber farmers well they're still there so please stay tuned